As you might have heard, Nintendo recently shut down the Ryujinx emulator. But before that happened, Ryujinx dropped their final build, and guess what? It includes Android version that never got released to the public because it was still in testing. But now it's available, so in this video, I'm going to show you how to download and install it on your mobile device. Let's dive in. But before we get into it, if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. It really helps me create content like this. So make sure to subscribe. All right, Ryujinx has been a super popular Nintendo Switch emulator, uh, mostly for PC, but they were working on an Android build that was still in development. Since they're shutting down, this final build was released alongside it, and then this might be the last chance to see Ryujinx in action on Android. Keep in mind, since this Android build was still in testing, it might not be perfect, but if you're into emulation, it's definitely something worth checking out. All right, let's get into how to download the final Ryujinx Android build. First off, this build isn't officially hosted anywhere because of the shutdown. You'll need to go through some alternative sources where it's been re-uploaded. I've got a link down in the description that'll take you to a safe, a safe download page. you've downloaded the Ryujinx Android APK, here's how you install it on your phone. It's a simple process, but I'll walk you through it step by step. Once installed, you'll need to set up the emulator. Just like the PC version, you'll need to load your Switch firmware and game files to get it running properly. If you already have those files, just go to the settings and add them. Next, let's install the product keys, and after that we'll get the firmware file set up. So I've been testing it on my phone, and while it's not perfect, it's pretty cool to see Ryujinx running on Android. Some games run really well, while others might be a little glitchy, but overall, it's an exciting step for emulation. Just remember, this build won't get any more updates since the project has been shut down, so what you see is what you get. And there you have it, Ryujinx's final build, including the hidden Android version, now available to the public. I hope this video helps you get it up and running on your device. Let me know in the comments how it works for you and if you run into any issues. Don't forget to subscribe for more emulation content and hit that like button if you found this helpful. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Stay tuned for more updates on the emulation scene. Peace out.